Hi guys, it's Erfa here and in today's video I will show you guys how to make that amazing Buddha slash kill fit. I will give you a bunch of different presets so this video will be a little bit shorter but you will have to have magic bullet looks, universe and cypher plugins for this tutorial. I will link them in the description in a google drive document because I can't link them in the description sadly because of the new youtube guidelines. But other than that let's get right into this tutorial. So the first step to make that amazing build up slash kill effect is actually to time wrap the clip and sync up the clip with the music but I already done that. Hopefully you guys know how to do that. But now we will show you guys how to use the preset because you need to use the presets in a little special way. Especially the build up. The first step is of course to go down and download the build up and the free magic build looks preset I gave you. When you downloaded the magic build look presets, I will show you guys how to import it in the DaVinci Resolve. How to do it is go down to your video search and search up percentage local app data percentage and only press on this and folder, nothing else. This should pop up and find the looks builder right here. Open that up, go to looks. Go to custom and drag the free magic build look presets and basically just drop them. And the ba best thing is that you don't even have to restart the venture so you can just close up. But now we'll show you guys how to actually make the build up. Because the build up is a really special way you need to use it. Basically just drag in an um, adjustment clip but don't make it short or anything. So basically turn on the magnet tool and so drag the whole adjustment clip and make it so it ends on the shorter film path. So basically don't make it short or anything. What you're gonna know is you're gonna press on it and go to the fusion tab and then basically just drag in the presets called mirror build up RP. Basically drag it in and you will see this effect and all the keyframes will be at the end as you see guys right here. So basically what you can do now you can go back to the edit tab and basically make it shorter from the back but never from the beginning so you'll see that now it's working the preset is at the end but now we're gonna quickly just add the color correction how we're gonna do that is we're gonna drag another adjustment clip above of this adjustment clip but this time we can make it shorter make it so it ends on the shot of impact and starts on the first frame we can see the effects so basically here is the first frame we can see a little zoom out make it so it starts right there then you go to open effects and such a, just such a look drag it and drop it on that and go to effect edit look and in your custom you should see three new looks i have them in my tutorial effects folder because i put it in that they but for you they should be in your custom this will be this three looks that you saw in the intro to so this one, this one, this one. Basically just find what you think look best. I think this looks best, just double click on it and press on the check mark. That's what basically applied. If it doesn't apply and you can't see it, then make sure that there's no keyframes on it. So basically take away all keyframes. And if it still doesn't show up, just drag it from zero and then to 100 again. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna go to about in, of, in the middle of this adjustment clip, so somewhere here. Then with your arrows on your keyboard, you're gonna go three frames to the left, so one, two, three. And basically, if you have a cursor over this adjustment clip, you should see two rectangular things. Basically, drag the one to the left and make it so it ends on over there. And that will basically just make it fade in, as you see, guys. Now, the kill effect is the most easy one. You just go to FX, drag in the adjustment clip, go to Fusion, download the preset in the single draft folder that at la as last time. It should be called slow wavy zoom out tutorial therapy. Basically you just take it and drop it inside the face. It will be pretty long so you can make it long like this. Then you just connect it real quick. And the effect will basically apply. All the keyframes will be at the beginning so you see guys. As you see guys it looks pretty crazy but if you think it's too much glow. Every clip is different. Then you can just go to the first keyframe and basically change the glow like maybe how much you want and you can change the tint too if you want so this one to play around with the glow and the glint but other than that that's basically the whole effect hope you guys enjoyed this video and please consider you drop a sub and a like as i said i'm doing my face reveal at 500 subscribers so yeah please subscribe see you guys in the next video